All assets took a nosedive in 2022. Well, almost all. Gold actually didn't. It remained stable. Bitcoin was at 48,000 at the end of 2021. It ended 2022 at 16,700. That is a 65% loss. S&P 500 was at 4,800 at the end of 2021. It was at 3,800 at the end of 2022 for a 21% loss. The Dow was at 36,000 at the end of 2021, and it was down to 32,800 at the end of 2022 for a 9.6% loss. Gold, on the other hand, was at $1,799 at the end of 2021. It was at $1,796 at the end of 2022 for a 0.15% loss, basically stayed the same while everything else tanked. Gold has proven itself to be the best hedge still. In case you're still mulling over it, here are the reasons why you should own physical gold aside from stability. Number one, gold is a global currency. Gold is not used as a currency today, but may still be considered a global currency because gold is worth the same all over the world. You can go to any country and you will find people, banks and institutions and governments that want it. You can take it literally anywhere in the world and it will retain its value and be just as desired and important. Gold is also ideal because it is easy to sell and can be carried in your pocket anywhere you go. Gold is highly liquid. Virtually any bullion dealer in the world will recognize a gold eagle and buy it from you. You can sell it to your local coin shop, a private party, or an online dealer. It can always be sold for cash or traded for goods. Number two, gold is a tangible asset, tangible asset. If you buy physical gold, you can hold it in your hands, something you can't do with most any other investment. Real gold can't be destroyed by fire, water, or even time. And unlike other commodities, gold doesn't need feeding, fertilizer, or maintenance. Number three, it can't be hacked. Unlike brokerage accounts, bank accounts, and payment services like credit cards, gold bullion is out of reach from hackers and identity thieves. In today's world, it's probably a good idea to have some of your wealth outside of digital form. If the internet isn't available or your online world comes crashing down, those gold eagles you possess won't be affected. In fact, in that scenario, they could be lifesavers. Number four, gold has no counterparty risk. A counterparty risk is the probability that the other party in an investment, credit, or trading transaction may not fulfill their part of the deal and may default on the contractual obligation. Gold is not controlled by a company. Gold is the only financial asset that is not simultaneously some other entity's liability. It also means gold won't go to zero. Gold will always have value. You can always sell it if you need currency. It will never go bankrupt. When all bubbles pop, gold won't. That's a powerful feature to have in an investment. Number five, gold can be private and confidential. If you want a little privacy, physical gold is one of the few assets that can provide it. Note that you must still report any gains on your income taxes, but it is not out in the open. You can carry it, bring it anywhere you want to go, Gold is one of the very few investments that can be anonymous. If you choose, no one has to know you own it. Virtually any other investment you make does not have that benefit. Number six, gold hedges your stock market investments. The chart on your screen right now shows gold's correlation to other common asset classes since 1975. The zero line means gold does the opposite of that investment half of the time. If it's below zero, gold moves in the opposite direction of that investment more often than with it. You can see that on average, when the stock market declines, gold has historically risen more than fallen. This inverse correlation holds true even when the stock market has crashed. This chart shows how gold performed in the eight biggest stock market declines over the past four years. You can see that in most cases, gold rose when the S&P crashed. It's true the gold price initially fell in the shock of the 2008 financial crisis, but while the S&P continued to decline, gold sharply rebounded and ended the year up 5.5% over the total 18-month stock market sell-off. Gold rose over 25%. 
Gold doesn't automatically rise with every downtick in the stock market, but history shows it is sought as a safe haven in big stock market declines. Number seven, gold is outside of government's control. Bitcoin is touted for being outside of government control. Well, the original one is gold. Government can't dictate its price and it certainly doesn't own gold. It can't control it either. The government can't inflate it as easily as fiat currencies like the US dollar or the Euro. It is no coincidence that gold is performing well in times of high inflation and that people trust in gold when they are losing trust in other currencies or are afraid these currencies will be less valuable in the future. The good news is that there are two ways you can actually own gold through a gold IRA or by physically owning it. Yes, Noble Gold Investments can help you either way. They deliver to any part of the US. If you want to know how you can get some gold safely, call Noble Gold Investments at 877-646-5347. Again, that's 877-646-5347. Or you can go to noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com.